In this video, we're going to focus on making this input here slightly more dynamic at the moment we type in here something that at least it will recognize every input in here and changes immediately. This is very useful for if you have a form where you can show the customer how the form eventually will look like. So, or how the text would look like, what they type in. So, in here, what we're going to do is we're going to do very, very easy. We're going to use here a special command which triggers a specific function. So what I'm going to do here is say on input. So basically this on input attribute will say the following. It will do something the moment we type in anything in this uh, ID name or this text input. So what I will say here is if we type in something, I want to trigger a specific function. So what I'm going to say here is our function would be uh, get first name that will be the function and in here we have these parentheses and I'm going to show you later on what we're going to do with that but what I want to do first is I want to show you first this so I'm going to create here this function we say you get first name we have here again parentheses I'll leave this blank for now later on we're going to work on that and all I want to do here now is just console.log and what we can console.log is basically the items so we could do it like this to grab here whatever we have the value but there's an easier way to do it because we have this functionality here so what I'm going to say here first of all test let's save that refresh so now and if I type now a letter you will see here now it shows test every time I type a letter it recognizes it so this is wonderful however this is not really what I want because it will only get give me a static value so what we could do is two options. I'm going to show you the one that we already know. That is this one here. Let's copy all of this here. And then maybe we could even uh, make sure you copy that without the parentheses and put it here. Save that and refresh. So now if I do a space here, it, it, you will see that there is a space now here or it's hard to see. But if I type in the H or though and no matter what I type in, everything will be registered and will be immediately uh, triggered. So this is one way and this is basically a way that you can do but there's also another way you're going with the on input because basically with the on input what we're really saying is when we type on this specific item whatever this is would depend on whatever the input is because if you would have two inputs it will recognize as well which input we clicked on. However I want to go that deep for now. What I want to do is I want to shorten this code here. So how to do that? Well, this is what we call a argument. So what this argument does is refers to this specific input that we type on. So if we have this here, this item will be here as well. So this would be just yes, the element itself. So this refers to the element and I can show you now. But this is what we call parameter and this is the argument. However, this argument goes in here. It's exactly the same value. So then if I put in here this, or put in element, save, refresh. If I now type in something, what happens? You can see instantly it grabs the element referring to. Because it says you want the element where you just type in something, which is this element. So that will mean now is we can get here as well the dot value. Exactly the same. Because indirectly, the element here stands for the document dot get element id first name because that is the item we have clicked on so if i save now refresh and there we are and you can see here the more i type it will recognize it immediately and that's basically a shorter way to do it because you can just remove this uh, the code here bomb refresh here it will work as well nicely 